Hey guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a full in-depth review of this new Bite lipstick set that came out for the holidays. It's called The Perfect Bite, which I kind of love. But as soon as I saw this lipstick set, I was like, oh, I need it. I just, I just need it. So today I'm going to be giving you a review of the packaging, the products inside. I'm actually doing lip swatches for the very first time on my channel and I'll insert those as I chat about each color. But yeah, let's just get on into this video. So Bite did release, I want to say, three sets for the holidays. This is the first one that came out. And I actually got to see this when I went to a Sephora event with my friend Dana. And they kind of had a couple of the Christmas sets out that you could purchase. Kind of like early access, I guess you could say. But it is definitely available now on the Sephora website. This does come with four of their Amuse Bouche lipsticks. And what I love about this already is that they're all permanent shades. Meaning that I can talk to you guys about them and not feel bad if I like a color and it's, you know, limited edition. That's my only, you know, like, ugh, thing about limited edition stuff. It's like, what? how am I supposed to talk about that? Or how am I supposed to repurchase it if I just, I can't? Even though I know it's a super successful marketing technique, but still. You guys know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna pull up the set here on my Sephora app so I can read you a little bit about it. So this set retails for $29 Canadian, but it has a $64 value. Again, I don't really know if those things are really legit, but it definitely is, again, a great marketing technique, so I can't really fault Sephora and Bite for that. Definitely cannot. <laughs> a giftable set of four deluxe size Amuse Bouche lipsticks and a range of beautiful neutrals. I don't really know if I would say neutral. I'm just putting it out there. These high pigment lipsticks have been handcrafted to deliver extreme moisture, sublime texture, and incredibly creamy wear, plus a mouth-watering citrus flavor. I do agree with that. This set is complete with two nude shades, a rosy pink and a rich cognac brown. Created and crafted by hand, Bite's small batch, a low heat process preserves a balanced blend of lip quenching ingredients, vitamins, and omega oils that are essential for achieving healthy looking lips. Made with 12 oils and triple milled pigments, these lipsticks provide saturated color and weightless coverage with a citrus flavor made from fresh pressed fruit. Okay, there you go. And you get 0.05 ounces or 1.47 milliliters of each lipstick. There you go, it's kinda like a little rundown. First of all, I have to talk about the packaging. I love this packaging. It has just kinda this little gold slip, and then it does have a signature red packaging, like Bite kinda tends to go for. But I love how they stepped out of their game went with a gold packaging. It is very holidays. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, I think this is the perfect gift for a lipstick lover in your life. Or if you're somebody who's giving to a lot of friends and you just want to give them a couple little things, you could totally split this lipstick set up. So it does come in a tin. And I know that in the past, Bite has had at least one set a year that come in a tin. Usually like a little four set of either their high pigment lip pencil, I think was last year. This year it's the matte lip crayons. Now as for sizing, it can fit right in the palm of my hand. So it's really cute and compact. I actually was just in Toronto for a couple of days and I wanted to try out these lipsticks but I was like I don't really know what color I want to wear throughout the day I just put this entire thing in my purse and it literally took up no room like it's pretty much the size of my change purse so it's a great thing especially for travel or even just you know living a day in your life I'm really impressed with that personally the tin does clasp shut if you know me it's a big deal for me because it will not come open in your purse and you do have a really nice big mirror. I have used this mirror pretty much every time I've applied this lipstick. It is so perfect. You also have a little kind of sleeve with all the different shades kind of swatched out, which I think is kind of like a nice little touch. I can probably get rid of this now that I'm talking to you about it, but I wanted to make sure to keep everything for the review. And then you have your four lipsticks. Now they are quite small, but they're not as small as other mini lipsticks that I've seen. Honestly, I've only ever finished one entire lipstick in my life, and that was before I started buying a ton of makeup. So I don't think I'll ever really finish a huge full-size lipstick. These, I definitely have a better chance, but like still, personally, I don't think I will finish one. <laughs> so the packaging is the exact same aesthetic as Bite Beauty always has, kind of like the rubberized texture with like the um, charcoal gray kind of bullet and also like the lipstick wear down detail on the cap kind of thing. Now here I do have a full size Muse Bouche lipstick so I'm just gonna compare them. There's definitely a difference but yeah, this one's probably the size of my pinky, and this one's probably the same size as my full pointer finger. So, you know, 
it just depends on what you're looking for. Now, before I do get into each color, I did want to say that I really love the shape of these lipsticks. When you first get them, they're very sharply cut, which is so great because it makes it really easy to fill in your lips to your correct lip shape without having to use a lip liner. I mean, I would still use a lip liner, but if you're out and about and you don't have one, at least with this, it's really easy to get very precise and applying is really easy. <laughs> so that's really good. Now going shade by shade, the first one I have here is Fig. This one in the bullet to me, I don't know why, but it looks a lot more like a mauve neutral color. This is definitely a pink. I really do like this color. And again, the smell, oh my gosh, a beautiful citrusy smell that these new lipsticks have. I'm just a huge fan of. It's again a great neutral for every day, but also kind of stepping out of that really like brown nude, flesh tone nude kind of zone, you know? The next one I have here is one that I already know that I love because I actually have it in the Luminous Cream Lipstick Formula. I actually got that in one of last year's Bite Beauty lip sets, but it actually is a little bit darker in this formula, and that's the color Pepper. Now, this is definitely more of a true brownie nude, but I love it. <laughs> it's almost like a Your Lips But Better kind of color for me. It's that neutral statement that I personally really love. It can really take your makeup to the next level without going, you know, like, completely crazy. The next one I have is Honeycomb, which is definitely one that I've always wanted to try. I've heard so many people love this lipstick, but whenever I would swatch in Sephora, I'd be like, that is such a, like, brown flesh tone nude. I was like on somebody with my skin tone, I feel like that just would look really odd on, but I actually really like it. Kind of walking the line between a peach and a brown nude, I think it's really nice. And the last one we have is the one that I'm actually wearing my lips right now, and this is the color Nori. Now this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I absolutely dig it. It is a serious, as they say, good cognac kind of color. A mixture between, I would say, like a brown and a burgundy. I don't have any lipsticks like this in my collection, so it's really unique to me. Someone that I probably wouldn't purchase if I didn't get the set, but I gotta say, I'm happy I did because I love it. <laughs> now quickly before we get into the full, like, end all be all review. I just kind of wanted to go through um, what the difference between the Luminous Cream lipstick line and the Amuse Bouche lipstick line kind of is because in my opinion they're not the same formula at all. I actually pulled out my original Pepper lipstick so I can kind of show you the difference but Bite's original Luminous Cream lipstick line I would say was more of like a sheer toned lipstick with a really nice glossy finish to it. I would say the Amuse Bouche ones are definitely amazing as well. They're a lot more of a thicker kind of more opaque, less of a shiny finish. I would say they're almost like a satin finish, if you could say that. So this is Pepper and the Luminous Cream Lipstick line, and this is the Amuse Bouche. So as you can see, the color is definitely different just because the formula is different. They may have added a little bit of a deeper tone to it. I still love both of them, don't get me wrong. In my humble opinion, I think Bite should not have completely taken away the Luminous Cream Lipstick line. And I think that there's definitely room for both lines in their brand. I think the Luminous Cream line is a little bit more uh, beginner lipstick friendly, but I don't know. I don't want to bash Bite at all because I love Bite so much, but I would say that I would love to see the Luminous Cream lipstick line reintroduced. I just kind of miss it a little bit, not gonna lie to you. <laughs> so my end thoughts, what I say is it's worth the money, would I recommend you guys to purchase this for yourselves or for family or friends or something? Totally, 100% love this. My friend Dana also purchased it. I haven't heard exactly what her thoughts are on it yet, but I just think it's a really good set. Definitely go check it out. I'm actually very surprised it's not sold out yet. When I first saw it, I was thinking like, holy crap, this is gonna be one of those products that just flies off the shelves, but they definitely still have it at Sephora, which is great. So yeah, just love it. Bite, you know, came through again. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you love review videos and you want to kind of see me do a couple more. I'm definitely thinking about picking up a couple more holiday sets. So let me know in the comments if there's any certain one you want me to get and maybe do like your full review on. There is one more from Bite that I'm definitely thinking of picking up and a couple from Tarte. And then there's also some skincare sets as well. So, I mean, Sephora this time of year, I'd say is the best time of year because the sets are absolutely so amazing for the value. So, you guys know I'm going to be taking advantage of that. So, let me know in the comments if you have any requests. Anyway, that's about it for today. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on Friday. Bye!